Oh, right then, guys. Cheers. Thanks to Waz for providing the little poo shelf in my drum, but I'm going to forgive you because I've sorted it out. Um, so it's the day before the show. Toast has just popped, guys. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I've got a... Um, I got a load of things to do. I've got a box up the koi. Everything's ready. Uh, the koi are looking good, in my opinion. But what do I know? Um, I have got to empty my truck. I got to go and pick up my mum's car from the MOT. Uh, and then Coventry is about three hours away, exactly, to be honest. But uh, I'm expecting a bit of traffic because you know what it's like. So um, when I get up there for about one or two o'clock. So, if I leave, I don't know, 9, 10 o'clock-ish, things will be good. Um, <clears throat> really looking forward. Can't believe the day's actually here, so it's going to be good fun. I'm looking forward more, really, to meeting people up there and saying hello. So, uh, it's going to be really good. So, let me finish my tea and my coffee. I've got breast milk in here, guys. Well, it's not actually breast milk, but I run out of, like, milk and I've got, like, toddler follow-on milk so i think it's breast milk is it i don't know tastes all right though mm. anyway on that note see you in a minute the koi are looking nervous <clears throat> but they are looking lovely um and they made a bit of a mistake see that koi there i really wish i would have entered that into the uh into the national because um it is a striking looking koi but um there's always the next one another nice show in august remember so um we'll see how we'll see how it does in august but uh the skin quality benny and soroji on that is insane it's a little on the thin side but i think it's a male but you know what it was still worth a punt because it's very striking um yeah fish are not so active um because they've been starved for five days so they're probably exhausted bless them but like they're just chilling Excuse the mess in the garage, guys, but here we are. We've got the boxes ready to take my koi down. Got the bags all recycled from before. Another fish box up there, but uh, yeah, and some tape. So, well, first time for everything. Trucks behind me, ready to go. See if I can box some fish. Guys, you're going for a road trip. So this is what I've been told to get by another koi enthusiast, what he uses. Uh, it's 110 litres of oxygen. It comes just like that in a little box. It's got this little regulator on top, which when you screw it in, releases more oxygen. And um, obviously it's for people uh, of about my age that have got difficulties in breathing. Um, and uh, yeah, whack that in the bag, release that, psh, Bob's your uncle. So 110 litres of compressed air. It's gonna be interesting to see how long that lasts me, but I do totally, you know, intend on getting something bigger. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, well, let's see how this boxing goes now then. Yeah, so that's one koi done. Um, not going to lie. <laughs> Need a bit of practice, but anyway. All packed up, guys. <laughs> Don't look at that one, it's empty. All packed up, ready to rock and roll. I hope it's worth it. Absolutely buzzing, guys. Just got you. Had a little bit of a uh, bad time in the traffic, but I think the F1's on, so uh, I think, is it the M5? It was a little bit busy, but do you know what? Mariah Carey and Lady Gaga kept me going. Yeah, some of the deep end. I love that track. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is, I found out what my bat is, I'm gonna spin around and float me fish for a little while. Hi right, guys, so here's the vat. Thank God I've got a small one because I haven't got very many fish. But, hey guys, the morning on the show. I don't think I need that sign, but actually, I can just touch my head on that. But this was my room for the night, absolutely fantastic. They're out of coffee. Um, yeah, it's a really nice little place. This is just down the road from the show, called the Bull's Head. So next year, get yourself down here, because it is lovely. Um, right, let's go for some breakfast. Right, there we are guys. So, um, 
We're on the actual day of the show now, so uh, I've just had a, had a fantastic breakfast. Um, honestly, the bull's head, if anyone's coming next year, it's exactly where I'm staying again. I'm gonna stay here for the two nights next year, I think. I can't recommend it enough. Had a steak last night, it was fantastic. Uh, walked up the road to um, Best Western, I think it is. Loads of the guys from the Koi show was up there, so I had a good chin wag with people. Um, <clears throat> maybe a few too many gins i don't know but anyway i slept well um up this morning lovely breakfast going to go see the boys now and uh see how the fish is um hopefully uh they're okay um the shiro looked a little bit washed out and pink yesterday because i don't think it was in the best of moods after being transported from the pond but um anyway let's get to the show oh where to stay next year i highly recommend that it's absolutely very very quaint and beautiful so here we are guys arrived at the show i think there's 52 vats that is one serious fish that is one serious vat so uh, i haven't gone to see my vat yet it looks pretty pathetic compared to everyone else's but um Sure, these guys started to at the bottom at one point. Oh, look at that! Lovely. Let's have a little walk up the line, shall we? <coughs> Here's some of the heavy hitters in the show. <laughs> Back there with the nose show. It's a lovely Ginner in Tank show, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And I'll be honest with you, there's some very, very nice koi here. It's surprising what's lurking in someone's back garden, isn't it? Right, there we are guys just had a lovely breakfast it's the sunday of the show sun's out guns are out so um just had a lovely breakfast with a couple of lads um thanks anthony from crafty coin for buying breakfast so um yeah it's 10 o'clock on the button actually it was really well timed so what we're going to do now is head off into the show park up um gonna try to get a bit of filming done it was really awkward yesterday because uh talking to a lot of people and it's just awkward walking around with your phone like isn't it so um but we'll get on it now get across and um i'll well, see how the fish is done because i think i'm not sure but i think um i think the judges put stickers on to show that you've won something uh on the saturday evening but who knows let's just go and have a little look all i know is i enjoyed yesterday talked to a lot of nice people and uh yeah had a couple of nice drinks last night with some um with some dealers and some hobbyists and stuff like that picking their brains and uh you well know, networking i guess so uh anyway let's get back to the show and see what's occurring here we are then behind the scenes private parking space before behind the uh, exclusively koi Here we are then, we're at the main man or the main boys stand. Still got a bit of stock left. Loads of sake gone yesterday though, fair dues. Lovely tabs. Here we go. Sake. 
So there's quite a few gone from yesterday, but um, yeah, I think there's still, still a couple of bargains to be taken. Sun's out today, guys. Let's have a little look at some of the, the vats again. Obviously, we've got some awards up now, I think. Well, it's just the best non-go something to show them. Yeah, go look at Kim Matsu, big, big Kim Matsu down there. It's like, Kim Matsu, what else do you want? Literally. And you didn't get anything? Well, I didn't get this. Oh, right, I'm not going to get this. Oh, Mr. Hatfield, see you. Here we are, guys. Oh, so then there's some stickers on there. I don't know what that means. So it looks like we might be triumphant in some categories. Happy days. Maybe I should sound more enthusiastic, but I don't really know what they mean. So here we go. That means you can't go in. But there's all the goodies. Quite impressive trophies, to be honest. There's some money being spent on that. Let's have a little walk around before anyone comes. These are the guys that they put all the show in and the effort. How are you doing, Lee? Yeah, very good, thanks. Thank you. Someone's uh, someone's put some stickers on my pictures. Really? They might have done. Might have been a mistake, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> This is really interesting, guys. So, we got Hit Row um, Ginrin Goshkis here, which I'd say is a little bit bigger than mine. But it looks like mine's probably gone up in value a little bit. This is the new one litre moving bed by EA. I need a joke. The old Nexus with the auto kit on it. Cannot go wrong with one of those guys. Simple, stupid. I do miss bubbling that. Another bit of famous industry kit there. Simple, stupid, but with a little bit of technology on it. Nice. Again, can't go wrong with that. V filters, don't know much about one of these. Might have to buy one just to get my head around it to learn, but yeah. And then uh, I think we've got maybe a new product here or something that's not readily known about. The thickness on that. Trickle tower, I guess. Fantastic. The Tempest. Here he is, the man himself. It's Gru from Minions. How are you? <laughs> Morning, Gru. If anyone uh, is after some good food. There is a man of his word, he's given me a sack. Yeah, when I say something, I do it. <laughs> there we are. That's worth the rounds that I bought him of gin last night, I think, or the night before.
John Halton, please. Various awards. John Halton. Craig McLean. Kyle Jones. Well, that's kind of canny, man. <laughs> down show's over everyone's going home everyone's off just got back guys not gonna lie it's been a long weekend an amazing weekend but a long weekend um so let's get these fish back in the pond quick because they've had a bit of a journey and uh yeah We'll do a short talk through of what was occurring the weekend. Yeah, good one. Here's the fish. They're all good, all well, pond's working well, but I think they're missing their mucky G's. As you can see, the water's clouded up again because we're back on the feed. So yeah, it's crazy how uh, all oh, that water colours with that sacky colour and growth. But anyway, let's get these uh, let's get these lads back in back in the pond. There we are then, guys. They've travelled really well, so uh, let's get these two back in with, uh, with my new uh, my new sock net. At least this one's actually waterproof. 
The other one is not. Well, it says it was, but it wasn't. But let's get these back in. There we are, guys. There's the toes they back in. Uh, the temperature's been pumped back up to 23, 24. Give them a bit of feed, and uh, even the fish that's just come back from the show made a back on it, like a carb on it. So, that's really good. Um, happy days. So, I've got no issues or worries about those. Just put the uh, bigger fish back in the pond as well, and they are absolutely buzzing to be home. I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to be settling down to watch their favourite episode of Any Fools and Horses later on. There's nothing like getting home, is there? Oh, epic three days. That's four, that's three days. Um, so, this little video has been filmed obviously over the course of Friday morning to Sunday evening now. It's literally half eight in the evening. So, um, fish are back in the pond. Um, two of the new arrivals are back in the pond. That was in the quarantine, so I took the fish from the quarantine to the show and then they've just gone straight back into here now. Um, it's, uh, it is crazy, but honestly, the other fish are genuinely happy, happy to see them again. So, uh, who thought fish had feelings? But they obviously do. So, um, they've traveled really well on the way back. Still gonna get the grips with this bag and stuff, mate, because um, still have like soggy boxes on the wet. Well, two of the boxes were soggy on the way back. Um, did see some nice nifty boxes though that all the top hobbyists were using those little plastic ones with the tops that interlock in so uh, I'm going to source some of those and if you're one of those top hobbyists that's got those boxes send me a link in the comments please because they're really handy I'm definitely not using those cardboard boxes again because um, my ass was going a little bit on the way up there about plastic bangs pinging and soggy boxes so anyway um yeah what a weekend uh not gonna lie did get a little bit boozy at times but not pathetic you know on the uh, friday night and the saturday night had just the right amount of alcohol before the last drink so um i think i was just one drink over from waking up without a hangover i just had a tiny little hangover when you open your eye at seven o'clock you know but uh, after breakfast it was all gone so happy days um and i thoroughly enjoyed the show guys i thoroughly enjoyed speaking to everyone uh and if you did speak to me i'm talking about you guys it was amazing um nice feedback from the channel as well so uh and not just from the general hobby community actually from some breeders and some major hobbyists so I'm, I'm well chuffed for that thanks guys i uh i must be doing something slightly right so uh yeah anyway um and i've had a, all the people actually that i met in the pub and we were having a drink with mostly northerners i think this hobby actually belongs to northerners to be honest i was surprised how many northerners there were right ah, la. yeah plenty um but they seem to be some of the top boys so um must be something to do with the ear uh, above there. But um, anyway, yeah, good bantering boys. And to be honest, I don't know many northerners down here. Um, but I used to know plenty when I was in the Paris, obviously, because it's nationwide. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a, a, a country or a county regiment. And um, yeah, it was really good. I miss, uh, miss some of my northern mates from Free Power, and, uh, and the banter's always good. So uh, yeah, dry. They're very dry, aren't they? But anyway, take them with a pinch of salt. And uh, yeah, you get on good. Um, yeah, it, it's been an amazing weekend. Um, all the, the, the stalls and all, and uh, it was absolutely fantastic, to be honest. Um, and, and the staff from the BKKS, mate, they grafted their nuts off, I'll be honest with you. Um, I did know a few of them, personally. And um, yeah, everyone from sort of like the head honchos down to the people that was just running around doing the water, uh, doing all the checks. You know, you had Gary, the old doctor. He was running around like a blue ass fly. Cracking, cracking setup. The vat's fantastic. I got there, my vat was all set up. Trickling, trickle out system was 
amazing. I just couldn't fault anything really. And I was really, really lucky with my VAT. I had a VAT number 50, which obviously means nothing to number, but the location of it was really nice. You know, it wasn't on one of the big runs. It was like on the corner and it was like loads of little bits and bobs around there. So uh, I think I lucked out with uh, the location of the VAT. It seemed more homely than, than a lot more, you know. Um, Location-wise, it was fantastic. I loved that. On the Friday, I was buzzing to get there. Do you know what I mean? Parked up behind the boys from Exclusively Koi. Uh, couldn't wait to get the fish in there. Bit nervous opening the bags, but they travelled well. Uh, the Shiro, um, yeah, the Shiroji on the Shiro was a little bit pink, veined up, but um, it's obviously female because it's moody. Anyway, she did pluck up the next day, Saturday, which uh, luckily was the judging day. Um, again, you know, this was all a bit of a laugh for me and a bit of an experiment. Um, I always, I, 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 I always knew I wasn't going to win anything up there anyway. Do you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I've not been doing this for long. And, um, you know, conditioning fish and all that kind of stuff is... Uh, it's quite difficult work, you know what I mean? There's, there's a science behind this hobby um, and everyone's got a different way to attack it uh, and different people give you different advice. And I'm sure all the advice works, but you've really got to pick one person or snippets of all the advice that makes sense to you to try to make it work. So uh, for the next shows, I know all the mistakes I've made and I know, you know, all the, all the things that did work for me. And the one thing that don't work for me is a bloody boxes. So we're going to get some plastic ones next time. Um, but yeah, uh, um, so obviously all the fish got judged on the Saturday. Um, I was so busy walking around, guys, bumping into people and having a chat. Uh, it was great, but like um, I didn't really get to see as much as the judging on my own fish that I wanted to because by the time I got back, you know the judges i could see the judges sort of like interested in one or two things but in my head they were just you know dismissing the fish rather than actually you know appreciating them you always think the worst don't you especially in your first show like i said the quality of the fish there was insane some of the some of the the jumbo fish was um absolutely fantastic but like you know everything through size one two three four and, and above really really impressive and some of the vats are absolutely fantastic and i think all the all the decisions that the judges come up with, I think was just, you know what I mean? But what do I know? But I learned, you know, what they were looking for. I was I was sort of like, yeah, very impressed with the whole thing. Really enjoyed it. And like I said, all the staff up there that was running it and the BKKS, yeah, really nice guys, fair dues. Um, and they made me feel at home for my first show, which is good. And there was a load of other YouTubers up there that I had a chat with. They made me feel at home. Um, and uh, and again, well, I can't thank the staff members on the show and or everyone that talked to me up there enough, really. Um, but the only thing that would have been better, that would have literally put the cherry on the cake, would be if I would have won anything. So, unfortunately, got some raffle tickets, spent 20 quid, uh, didn't win anything on the raffle. And I was thinking to myself, I never get anything. But anyway... There's always next year, I could probably win a few more than that. <laughs> so yeah, boys and girls, I actually did win some stuff and I didn't even pay for it. I think it's actually genuine. So let's go through what I won. So, yeah, incredible. So do you know what I mean? So this is like the, uh, the little certificate. So I woke up on the Saturday morning, uh, went in, kind of not very confident to be honest after looking around everyone's fat and I was like that, shit the bed, mate. Some of these things are literally swimming around like Gucci belts, you know what I mean? They were sparkling and binging and, you know, I was like that, oh no. My vat, you know, even though it was in a good location, looked like I specialised in toes, toes eye. Not my fault, but next year they'll all grow. Um, but lo and behold, come back on the Sunday after a good night out with uh, some fellow hobbyists. Um, yeah, uh, to all of my little pictures with little stickers on. I had to ask someone who actually knew anything about these stickers, what they were. And uh, yeah, so this is the results, guys, of my hard work and everyone else's information. <laughs> right, so we've got the... Um, so basically, 
the Makuaku won uh, first in, in size class, which was a size, uh, which was size three. Um, and then, oh no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, which was size, one second guys, which was size two, no, actually it was size three. So it basically, anyway, long story short, I had two firsts, two seconds, and two thirds. Fantastic result for a first timer, I guess, do you know what I mean? Um, there was quite a few first timers there, to be honest, and um, I think a lot of them done very well, you know? Um, and congratulations to everyone. But um, Ian Jenkins done pretty well. I look up to Ian Jenkins because he's a fellow countryman. And uh, even though he's taken home some amazing awards back to Wales, well, do you know what? Team Wales, I took some of the smaller ones back. Every little counts. So uh, yeah, fantastic. So y here we go, guys. Um, I was going to pin these on the gill plates of the fish to let them have a swim by, but uh, I think the paper would get a bit wet, wouldn't it? So, um, yeah, buzzing. I got some trophies from the, uh, from the pump house uh, and definitely, um, definitely to grace the new pump house when I make it. But, yeah, fantastic. Second and class. So, yeah, we are, actually it says it all on the ribbon. So, we've got a third in class size four. We've got a second in class size three. We've got a third in class size one. We've got a first in class size two. We've got a second in class size one. And we've got a first in class size one as well. Well, there we are, guys. So the only other thing that I'm pretty keen on waiting for um, to feel like a proper winner is um, waiting for seven days or a couple more days to make sure these guys uh, have not had too much of a stressful time and uh, they settle back into their home. Like I said, uh, buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Um, well, what else can I say? So looking what I've done this weekend, I had plenty of more points that I could have put into that vat. And actually, looking at everyone's vats and the quality of their fish, okay, I haven't got any jumbo fish yet, right? So, um, but these things can't help but grow it, right? They're not gonna go backwards, so they are gonna grow and they're gonna go back up in categories. Um, I can't ever see myself going flat out and buying something huge for a huge volume of money. Not really me. I'd rather get real high quality Nisai, Tozai, maybe even Sansa if I go mental for it uh, and just grow them on and just, you know, treat them right, touch the right places and see what happens, innit? it? Um, so to that end of things, I wish I had taken a few more bits and bobs. There was a couple of Kawakus that would have graced size one, I think, I think pretty well. Um, obviously the Kawaku and the Gosanki uh, uh, classes are, are flooded with amazing uh, amazing quality but do you know what I mean in my QT pond there got some pretty nice sake fish from uh, Gosanki um, I got some Hoshikin uh, I got some Tanaguchi in there uh, so do you know what I mean there's some good stuff in there so uh, next time possibly possibly and do you know what there's an Adam Bayer Kwaku in here which probably would have been size 3 really wish I'd have taken that as well because uh, Adam's done himself proud with that one. Uh, it's one of my growing shows from there. Um, <laughs> Andy Daly uh, growing show from last year whose um, results should be coming up quite soon. I th I've got to wait for a little text or a little information to do the final measurement with that. Um, but mate, fantastic fish. And uh, I can't remember what size it was when I got it. But um, yeah, it's a decent size now. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and the volume of fish is, is really impressive. And to be honest, mate, the skin quality, Siroji and Benny, really is one of the one of the nicest in the in in the uh, in the pond. To be honest, and um, the more I'm getting to know about fish, you know, talking about you know the kiwa and the sashi, looking at that fish, actually, you know, it, all, all of the little things that I'm learning, 
that fish seemed to be ticking most of the boxes. So it's, it really is a nice fish. Anyway, next time, there's always next time for that. Um, what else was I gonna say? Talking about Andy Daly, he's a hell of a boy. I've been spending most of the day with him today. He's got a bit of banter, an old Frank. He's got a lovely video of Frank coming up. Stay tuned. Uh, old Anthony from, um, uh, from Crafty Koi. We spent the night together last night. No, not like that. He was in a different room. Um, and uh, we stayed with one of our mates called Steve. We all had different rooms and a little barn conversion. I ended up on the couch, obviously. Uh, but it was like an orchestra of snoring. Apparently, we were all snoring like pigs. I literally went straight to sleep and woke up at seven. So I never heard those snoring, but they heard each other and they both definitely heard me. So I apologize for that, boys. Um, that's a combination between Rocco Gin and possibly a little bit of, um, what you call it, pollen -y stuff in the nose, hay fever. So, um, yeah, I apologize for that. And like I said, great company from the weekend. First night though, no offense, I did enjoy my own company for a little while. Um, beautiful place, that um, bull's head. Um, great meal, I actually caught and got smarted up, put a little shirt and all on, went down, I was there with my little fillet steak. Uh, I was actually a bit lonely, so I was looking at my missus on TikTok. Felt like she was there, but I didn't have to pay for a meal for it, so it was a win-win. And um, yeah, felt a bit strange in there because it was all full of couples and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> kind of felt like you know I was just there waiting for someone to appear as a swinging couple or something and me be the third member so I decided to text someone where are your chap and this was Craig uh, amazing hobbyist actually he's got an amazing YouTube channel and um, yeah ended up being eight minutes walk away so we walked up to the um, uh, best Western which is just up the road uh, yeah yeah it's uh, was good. It's a nice night again, you know. I had a couple of gins, eight minutes walk home, but um, good bit of banter, good bit of socialising, and, uh, and uh, obviously I gained a little bit more information on the hobby, uh, talking to knowledgeable people. So it's a win-win. Um, anyway, I'm talking enough rubbish now. Super stoked with those. Super stoked with all the knowledge I've learned. Super stoked with the performance, I guess getting up there, batting them, actually winning some stuff, bagging them and getting home. But now I'm literally ready to go to sleep. So I'm gonna sit down in a minute, probably gonna edit this video and um, yeah, might watch a film. I don't know what yet, but I'm on my own again because my missus is still down in Kent and she's gonna be arriving here tomorrow, but mm, mid afternoon, so tomorrow morning, I might go out for a bit of a ride. I mean, new bicycle. Um, but apart from that, guys, hope you liked the video. Um, sorry there's not so much filming uh, in and around the show, but I'll be honest with you, I ain't camera shy at all, as you can tell, but I do feel like a bit of a nugget walking around filming in public, do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm not one of those kind of persons that will run with a selfie stick and a gimbal. It's sort of like, if there's someone there, I, I kind of won't film, do you know what I mean? Filming is a personal thing. And, um, but anyway, great banner. And uh, for all the ladies out here, this is Frank. Oh.